Hey, how's it going folks? E.G. here with another tutorial slash update for iMovie. We got some updates on the latest version of iMovie and the version is 10.2.4. It came out uh, January 2021, just to let you know if you're watching this in the future. So the first one here is just importing a project from iOS 2.3. That's cool. I don't usually use that functionality, but perhaps it's useful if you're traveling, filming and editing while you're on a plane or a train or whatever, or in the backseat of a car, just long commute. And then later on, you want a little bit more functionality, you could actually import it into iMovie on your Mac. So I guess that's kind of cool. The second one here is really cool. They added 16 new solid and textured backgrounds. But more importantly, we're able to actually adjust the colors and customize the look and feel a little bit. And as usual, a little bit of stability improvements is always good. So let's go ahead and jump into iMovie and I'll show you about these new backgrounds here. So I got a blank project open here. We're gonna go to our backgrounds here and you'll see there's a lot more than usual. So let's start with a checkerboard one here. I'll just drag it down here. And uh, this is kind of artifact. I'm not sure what's going on here, but it's not affecting the checkerboards at all. But we'll click, double click on that and go to this first icon here, which is the background settings. We'll go ahead and click on that. And now we can actually change the colors of the checkers here. So let's go van style with a little black and a little bit of white. Okay. So there you go. That's how you customize this checkerboard one here. If you want to add a little Ken Burns, a little movement, we could do that by going to the cropping tool, Ken Burns, and we'll do just a little bit of movement here from start to end, we'll have it kind of go up to the right. Go ahead and check this check mark here and let's see what that looks like. Yeah, we got a little bit of movement. So if you need to add a little bit of movement, you know, you can do that. Let's go ahead and do a couple more. Let's do what, some of the gradients here. We did the purple one here, drag that down, double click the highlight, go to the first there. And now you can alternate the colors. You can use the pencils here, the wheel. If you need to like really get Super customized with that color. There you go. I often use the pencils. Pretty, I'm pretty happy with the, the colors that are listed here. But if you do need that fine detail and selectability, you can go into your color wheel here and just kind of figure out where you want the colors to go. Select the item and change the colors as you need to. Okay. We'll go ahead and delete that one. And we'll do one more. We'll do this mosaic here. Same thing. Double click the highlight, go to the first icon, select your colors. Let's go to the pencils here. We'll do red and white and fuchsia or strawberry or whatever color this is. So there we go. We have a bunch of new backgrounds and some of them are customizable. Pretty cool to help you uh, customize the look and feel of your next iMovie project. And I think that's it for us today. We'll talk to you next time as usual. Peace and aloha. <laughs>